Bill Hughes in the WKYX studio live with J.P. Roberts in our traffic center. And we've got some uh, large-scale breaking news. J.P., why don't you go ahead and fill us in on what's happening? Apparently, we've had a series of major crashes on I-24. The information I'm getting is first report, so it will change uh, as more information comes in. Apparently, a, a dump truck or garbage truck has been reported to have been traveling the wrong way on I-24 uh, eastbound, and this is around exit 7. Uh, it apparently has collided with or caused up to 11 car pileups. Some vehicles are damaged severely. Uh, some occupants are entrapped. There is a, a, a whole bunch of first responders trying to get up to I-24 to help get to these people who need assistance. Right now, we've got multiple vehicles. Uh, the crashes are just scattered along the roadway, and uh, traffic is backing up everywhere. If you're trying to get past Exit 7 uh, in the Paducah area, you're going to need to take an alternate route. Uh, best advice would be to get off I-24 around Exit 11 or 16 and then make your way around to Exit 4 or Exit 3. Right now, traffic going past the Lone Oak Road I-24 US-45 interchange is backed up and it is very difficult to get through. Like I said, more information will be available. Right now we know that there's been a series of cars and trucks that were involved and first responders are trying to get to everyone. So avoid I-24 through the Paducah area around that interchange until further notice. Okay, so folks will be, if they're driving, they need to get off at exit three or four and go around to exit 11 and vice versa if you're coming from Calvert City area, you need to just get off and, and go around using the loop or some other method to get to where you need to go then, right? Absolutely. Just reverse the route. If you're coming out of Illinois, take exit four, exit three, and uh, get off there. Now, you may be able to make it to exit uh, seven, but getting beyond that point is not going to happen. Okay. They're trying to get the emergency vehicles there as well. They're also going to have to try to get the backup of vehicles probably detoured off and get them around the scene as well. So you may have vehicles actually turning around and and coming back just to get off of the interstate where they backed up behind the scene then. Absolutely. And a secondary thing that's going to happen is traffic on Lone Oak Road itself is going to become very impacted by this. And it's not unusual for us to see secondary collisions as a result of all the traffic being detoured off and the heavy flow. So right now, this whole area past Exit 7, between Exit 7 and Exit 11, I-24, I would avoid that area. Okay, and folks, just try to stay away if you can. Don't worry about taking a photograph. Don't worry about seeing what it looks like. Just let the first responders get there with the, with the traffic backed up. It's going to be hard enough for them to get there anyway, and they don't need you uh, being one more vehicle in their path as they try to get to these people who, uh, as JP said, uh, some may be entrapped in their vehicles, but at least uh, they need EMS to uh, at least take a look at them and, and see what the situation is. So, There you go, folks. Both ways, I-24, you just need to avoid the area of Exit 7, get off the interstate, and come around Paducah another way to get to your destination. Anything else we need to add, JP? Just remember, first responders are trying to get to the scene, so if you're trapped on I-24, try to get over out of their way and clear a path for them as best that you can. That's right. If both lanes are blocked, if everybody gets over on their side, they can leave a path down the middle for the first responders. So... Thanks, JP, and we'll keep everyone updated through the afternoon right here on WKYX.